The November 18th meeting of the Transportation Order will now come to order. Madam Clerk, could you please call roll? Mr. Adair. Here. Mr. Cassetti. Here. Mr. Cassetti. Yes. Chairman Colby. Yes. Mr. Driscoll. Here. Mr. Esposito. Here. Mr. Gamble is excused. Ms. Cayley. Here. And Mr. Lee. Here. Dr. Quattro. Here. Is there anyone signed up for public forum? There are no public forum speakers signed up this evening. Is there anyone present that would like that did not sign up would like to address this committee at this time? Seeing none, um, we have a presentation of the proposed budget for Monroe County 2010 for the Department of Transport or for the Transportation Committee, and I believe Sue Walsh is. We're going to get. We're getting the better looking one. I can tell you that. Susan Walsh. Susan. Yes. Okay. Should we roll out it? Good evening. I'm very pleased to be presenting the county executive's proposed budget for 2010. I believe that most of you have seen the overview, so I'm gonna talk very quickly. And I'm really very pleased to be doing it because this is the last presentation this year that I'm gonna have to do. So I believe for, um, so this is particularly for those of you who haven't yet seen this. The overall budget um, grew by 0.9% uh, in two, uh, 2010 over 2009. That's um, a growth of 4.5%. Um, excuse me, $8.4 million. Mandated expenses increased by 0.7% or $4.5 million. Non-mandated expenses remain flat at 2009 levels. Debt service increased by 4.1%. And non-mandated user fee supported um, increased by 1.1 million or 1.2%. Next, we'll look at the operating budget, and here we look at expenses by functional area. Most of the budget, as you can see, is expended on human services, which totals 25% of our operating budget. This is social services, aging, youth, and veterans programs. The second greatest area of expense is public safety at 20.7%. This is the public defender's office, the district attorney's office, the sheriff's office, and the public safety department. The third largest expense area is for the provision of health services at 15.7%. This is mental health, public health, and the Monroe Community Hospital. As you can see here, transportation accounts for 6% of the operating budget. The functional area here includes DOT, aviation, and our contribution to um, RGRTA. This next slide shows the revenue. It shows where we get our money from. Uh, to fund the operating budget. Most of our revenue, as you can see, 40% of it comes from property taxes. Property taxes remain flat in 2010, over at, um, flat the same level as in 2009 at $8.99. The second largest revenue stream is state aid at one, um, $106 million. Of this, most is received by the Department of Human Services, Public Health, and Public Safety. DOT, Department of Transportation, anticipates receiving $4.9 million in state aid in uh, 2010, mostly for the CHIPS program, the Consolidated Highway Improvement Program. The county's share of sales tax, as you can see, is makes up 8.5% 8 8 of our revenue, and federal aid provides 8% of revenue. The lion's share of this goes to the Department of Human Services. The grant budget, totals $173.8 million. This is an increase of 11.5%. Looking further at the grant budget, this chart demonstrates where the money goes by functional area again. Uh, most of it's attributable to human services at 68%. These grants fund daycare, family assistance, safety net, aging youth, and youth programs. Health services grants, represent 20% of the grants budget. 
These include child and family health grant, communicable disease prevention, and environmental health programs. Public safety makes up 11.7% of the grant budget. The next slide demonstrates that our, our um, operating bu budget, 81% of it is, is mandated. And we look at this more closely in the following slide. Um, this represents mandated expenses by functional area. The largest driver of mandated expenses is, of course, human services, um, almost 35% of the budget. It includes social services, aging, youth, and veterans programs. Public safety accounts for nearly 18% of mandated expenses. These are assigned council costs, probation, the jail and civil bureaus and the sheriff's office, the public defender and the district attorney. Transportation accounts for 1.3% of mandated appropriations. This includes our payment to the um, RGRTA and work done through CHIPS, as well as um, operation of the O'Rourke Bridge. This next slide depicts non-mandated expenses by functional area. The most significant area of non-mandated expense in this county is for the pr provision of health services. That uh, mostly um, consists of MCH. Public safety is a close second for its 911 emergency communications, central police services, mutual aid fire bureau, police bureau and staff services in the sheriff's office. The Department of Transportation and Airport account for 15.6% of non-mandated um, costs and that's uh, depicted in the transportation piece of this pie. Included here are highways, traffic, engineering and bridges. The next slide depicts um, the budget summary by elected official. As you can see, the county clerk continues to return revenue to the county. The county legislature remains flat for 2010. The district attorney's office uh, slightly increases, and this is mainly due to sal increases in salaries and, and medical benefits. <coughs> the sheriff's office increases, and this is due to increases again in salaries and benefits and debt service. And the county execs uh, those departments for which she's responsible for, which are all the departments that, that aren't responsible um, by the other elected officials, increase less than 1%. And these, this increase is due to increase in personnel costs and the increased contribution to MCC. Now we'll specifically talk about things that impact the transportation department. Here you can see that expenses increased. This increase, excuse me, expenses decreased, which is a better thing. Um, they decreased primarily due to a decrease in debt service of $3.6 million, and there is also a decrease in snow and ice appropriations of $83,000. This was accomplished by work that the department um, head, Terry Rice, did with town highway departments to revise the formula under which they're reimbursed for this work. Revenue increases includes $190,000 from the city of Rochester, for pavement markings that the Department of Transportation does on their arterial streets. Revenue from the motor, motor vehicle registration fees introduced in 2008 are expected to remain steady for 2010 at $3.5 million, and these funds are used to offset road maintenance and bridge maintenance costs. The next slide, which sort of looks like a Christmas tree, um, these are highlights of accomplishments of the work that the department did over uh, 2009. And um, I'd like to kind of, while you're looking at that, mention how their budget is broken up. $11.3 million is allocated for road maintenance, pavement markings, and sign fabrication and installation. $5.1 million is allocated for snow and ice removal. 4.6 million is allocated for CHIPS. 4.1 for traffic engineering, which includes traffic studies, signal maintenance, as well as highway lighting. 2.5 million for bridge operations and maintenance. 1.4 million for City of Rochester programs, including utility costs for expressway lighting within the city, and 1.3 million for debt service. And lastly, 
we see the Rochester Genesee Regional Transportation Authority, the counties mandated under New York State Transportation Law, Section 18-B, to match state-provided operating assistance to RGRTA. The county anticipates this contribution staying flat for 2010 at $3.5 million. This completes my presentation, and I'd be happy to take any questions. Thank you. Okay, I think uh, we're ready to uh, take questions re relative to the uh, Transportation Committee budget from Transportation Committee members. Jeff Adair, I think, has a question. I'll go with him first and then. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, first off, I'd like to um, tell um, Mr. Rice that uh, I have to compliment him on taking a look at what he put down for his objectives for 2009 last year and what his accomplishments were. Um, you, it looks as though, from what I see, you far exceeded a lot of your accomplishments, so it's a compliment to, to you and your staff, so thank you very much. Um, one of the questions that I do have on this is, I'm looking at, I can understand the uh, mandated, non-mandated. I understand that the mandate, the non-mandated, we kept it, a, a, it, a, it underneath what uh, we have constructed uh, through law um, our budget to be. One of the questions I have is, it, it appears to me, and maybe I'm not, I'm not right on this, that our mandated expenses this year, and what triggered this was just to see the percentage going up, there were one percentage, was our mandated service were up 10.4%. Is that, is that a correct statement? I mean, about half a million dollars? Through the chair. Um, the increase in mandated um, is due to um, an increase in CHIPS funding that we anticipate for 2010. Um, we received 4.1 million in 2009, and we're budgeting 4.6 million in 2010. Okay, thank you. Um, No, we, we actually, the amended, we actually did receive uh, the 4.6, and the state advised us to submit that same amount that we got this year for next year for CHIPS. Okay, thank you. Um, through you, Mr. Chairman, uh, looking at the budget summary on page 341, one of the first questions that I, I have tonight is, $3.6 million down in debt service, can, is there an explanation for that? Well, it's this, that's a significant number. Through the chair, it's due to the refinancing. Yeah. Of what? Excuse me, through you, Mr. Chairman. It, it's due to refinancing of various um, debt in various program areas. I can run through that if you wish. I don't think we need to. Thank you. Um, next question through you, Mr. Chairman. I just kind of was wondering. I'm looking at, um, again, on page 346. Um, there seems to be a decrease in the city programs. Um, is there a reason for that, the amount allocated? Through the chair, um, uh, could the could Mr. Adair be more um, specific? Is it page 346? Those are uh, 341. Oh, excuse me. 341, I'm sorry. <laughs> Through the chair, that's a decrease in debt for the city projects. So it's decreasing the debt from the city project. Okay. Um, through you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, in the, I know we've done sign fabrications. I know we've done it for other municipalities within our county. I know it's a great service we have. Um, we are. Are we still doing it? And is there any 
Do we have any sort of a uh, an agreement with municipi other municipalities? How, just give me the nuts and bolts of what we do. I mean, I know that if the town of fill in the blank calls up and needs 10 stop signs, what, what happens? If I may ask that question. Uh, through the chair, we, we charge all the municipalities for our time and time and material on uh, making signs. So we do charge for their roads. Yes, still, they're still doing. It. Okay, thank you. Um, through you, Mr. Chairman, uh, going on to page 342 on the fees and and, and such. Um, does Mr. Rice, do you know? Like I'm looking at commercial entrances, major commercial entrances. And I'm looking at the fee of $150, or a review fee, and I'm looking at the permit fee of 550 And we haven't changed that since 2004, to my knowledge. Is there, do, what, what kind of a process do you go through, especially with the commercial stuff? I mean, do, is, this, is this a fair market value? Is this something that we look at and review? How do we, it's been uh, a long time since we've done anything with this. Uh, th through the chair, we actually, nothing was done this year, but we did change some of those, uh, either the review or permit fees last year and in previous years. So yes, we do go through uh, each year to look to see if we are getting the the right amount as well as not exceeding the uh, the going rate. I can tell you we charge much less than the towns to do the work, to do this, but they do a lot more, they're more involved in them. But we do look at the, uh, the costs and what our true costs are. Okay, thank you. And through you, Mr. Chairman, I, Again, I do know, I do recognize that you did change some of the fees, and the one I was kind of targeting was the commercial entrances, both major and minor. We haven't looked at those in, in some time. Um, I think, I think that's it, Mr. Chairman. I'll yield the floor. Mr. Lee, I believe you had a question. Thank you. Through the chair to the administration, um, traffic engineering, uh, why are utilities uh, 827,000 and a small department? Don't other buildings occupants in the Scottsville Road contribute to the call? On page Through the chair, can you repeat the question? Yes. Um, why are utilities 827300 in a small department? Don't other building occupants on Scottsville Road contribute to the cost? Okay. Uh, through the chair, uh, yes, they do. What the, for the most part, what that utility is that you're seeing in there in traffic engineering is for the cost of the, the traffic signals or the, uh, the highway lighting that we are responsible for on the expressways or on the arter some of the arterial streets. It's not for buildings. A very small part of it is for the Regional Traffic Operations Center, of which we do get reimbursed the shares by the state police as well as the state DOT. Okay, thank you. Anybody else have a question? Oh. Thank you. Yeah, Cindy's here. Um, through the chair, in the going back to the decrease in the um, city of Rochester portion, and if I understand, it was due to a reduce in the debt service. Excluding debt service um, from last year and this year is the percentage, has the percentage of um, funding to the city of Rochester changed at all? I, I be honest with you, I, through you, I don't remember the percentage. We had this discussion last year. I don't remember what the what the percentage was I don't either, at so. that point. So, we'll see how we handle through it. the chair, the answer is no. The percentage hasn't changed. Thank you. Um, and through the chair, when we talked about the debt service being the reduction uh, due to refinancing, just a, a question for my own knowledge: When you're refinancing your debt service, does that extend the life of the debt? Through the chair, um, th this particular debt that we're talking about in, in the 
uh, transportation area has been paid off, so it won't reoccur. When you generally refinance debt, it does not uh, necessarily extend the life. There are instances where it can. There are instances where it can become shorter. So it's kind of all over the map regarding refinancing. Thank you. That's it. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, on page 341 uh, through you to the administration, it indicates that uh, maintenance of road expenditures are dropping by about $2 million. Uh, can you get an explanation as to why that's the case? Mr. Chair, that's um, a reduction in debt service. That's the same, same issue? That's correct, through the chair. So through you, Mr. Chairman, to the administration, we <coughs> take on debt to repair our roads for ongoing maintenance? Through the chair, that's correct. Okay. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you. In this instance, has the debt been paid? Through the chair, yes. Thank you. Any other questions about the, the transportation committee budget? Seeing none, the uh, next item on the agenda is approval of the minutes. You have the September 23rd minutes of the transportation committee before you. They approve unless the clerk is notified of any changes by the end of the day. New business. The next item on the agenda, new business, Madam Clerk. Referral 371, authorize an intermunicipal. Moved by Mr. Cassetti, second by Jack Jisco. Any questions, Mr. Exposito? Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, is the improvement or modernization to the water supply conduit occurring because the road was scheduled to be um, reconstructed, or is it uh, the opposite situation? Uh, through the chair, it's the opposite. The city is uh, upgrading their, their water line, and so and uh, that's why the road is getting uh, resurfaced. Thank you very much. Any other questions? Seeing none, all those in favor, say aye. aye. Opposed? Next item. Referral 391, acceptance Moved by of Mr. federal. Mr. Disco, second by Dr. Quattro. Any questions? Seeing none, all those in favor, say aye. aye. Opposed? Next item. Referral 392, authorize Moved the by use. by Mr. Quattro. Second by Jeff Adair. Any questions? Seeing none. We get one more item. Yep, that's it. That's it. Oh, you got to take it. Oh, back. all those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. Thank you. Um, is there any more? Any other business to come before this committee? There being no other further business, the November 18th meeting of the Transportation Committee stands adjourned. The next item, the next meeting of the Transportation Committee will be announced. Thank you.